Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing a second reading using the little Tarot Nova. Can you see it? The Tarot Nova, that's the back of the deck. A uh, little mini Tarot deck. Second reading on Gary Giannetti's uh, cartoon series, animated series for HBO, The Prince. I've done one already on the series from Harry and Meghan's point of view on their silence, how they are... Uh, being judged, excuse me, how they are being perceived for not coming out and saying anything about it. You're welcome to go and look at that reading. I'm now going to look at this from William and Catherine's point of view. It's just, of course, their family, their child, who is the real target, I will say target, not focus, the real target of this series of the cruelty, the jokes, the viciousness, the um, potential harm is immense to Prince George, as I have discussed in that previous reading, uh, potential for bullying, potential for, you know, lifelong harm, really. This isn't, this isn't uh, just something that can be ignored and on we go. Uh, it's, it's something very serious. So I want to let's just look at it. I'll do another Celtic cross using these Terra Nova, and we'll look at it from William and Catherine's point of view, how they feel about it, the challenges, what they're going to do, if anything. Uh, about it, if they've tried to do something already, if they're going to be trying to do something about it, and how they each feel individually as well, uh, William and Catherine, how they feel about it, and what are the consequences of this dreadful series are going to be for them as a family, for Prince George in particular. And uh, hopefully we'll get some happy cards. As I said in the other reading, it's a bit of a strange energy today. We're heading towards Lionsgate over the weekend. Everybody's feeling a little bit um, squeezed and tense at the moment energetically. So um, difficult times. I think we all agree that these are difficult times that we are living in. And for an eight-year-old boy to be the butt of a uh, series like that seen all over the world I can't even imagine I can't even imagine how his parents are feeling right now how he is feeling if he knows about it I'm sure he does know about it how can you hide something from an eight-year-old boy and uh, yeah very very difficult very difficult underlying energy is the ace of pentacles interestingly that's not a negative card at all that's the card of big money big offers um something going on behind the scenes possibly with a big offer a big um a big helping hand coming from somewhere possibly to help them out we'll see we'll see that's a curious energy to come out i mean uh i'm looking at it from their point of view if i were looking at it from the producer's point of view yes this is all about money and we all know this is all about money. But it's as if this is starting a new direction for William and Kate because of that card. Uh, positive direction. Surprising. Surprising. Let's hope the reading carries on in a positive and upbeat way. So what is the current situation for them? King of Pentacles in reverse. A very angry energy. It's destabilizing them. It's making them feel vulnerable. It's making them feel exposed. Uh, it's, it's something that's going to have consequences for William in particular, Prince William in particular, as ultimately as the king. And for Prince George. Uh, and when he is king, I think he's an earth sign. Correct me if I'm wrong. Is he an earth sign or is he a Cancerian? Maybe he's a Cancerian. Um, but it has consequences for the royal family. It has consequences for their status, for their reputation, for how they're perceived, for how they're perceived as being stable and solid and dependable and magnificent and all the rest of it. It's destabilizing that whole energy. It's, 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 it's knocking at the foundations of the royal family and, and making them look bad, making them look very, very bad. And William and Catherine are very aware of it. And the challenge is the hanged man. They feel helpless. They feel that they're absolutely, their hands are tied. And they're literally in this card, the hands are tied. And there is nothing that they can do. They can't fight back. 
they can't uh, they can't go and make their own TV series, they can't sue, they can't come out in the press and say dreadful things, although uh, certain journalists have come out in the press and said things and may well have been prompted by the royal family, but they cannot act directly in this matter. Uh, never explain, never complain, never explain however it goes, which way around, I've forgotten right now. They feel helpless, they really do. They feel like they've been hung out to dry here and it must be immensely frustrating and that there is that energy off the king of part uh, king of particles <laughs> king of pentacles the king of pentacles of being frustrated angry um all that money all that power and there's nothing that you can do to protect your child in these circumstances dreadful energy very 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 challenging so what don't we know what's hidden here uh, about this situation that we are not aware of seven of swords in the reverse the seven of swords in reverse is some sneakiness that's been exposed they're aware of something really sneaky going on behind the scenes and possibly given the previous reading possibly they are aware of prince harry's involvement in this series egging uh, orlando bloom on possibly um deals being made with Gary Giannetti to take the heat off Meghan Markle but they are aware of stuff of sneakiness sneakiness that has come to the surface come to light been exposed they know about it whatever we don't know about the dirty dealings behind this motivations behind this hidden motivations they know they absolutely know and of course they have resources information and so on that we do not have and will never know but they know so what is their focus in this now what are they focused on mentally now what are they trying to achieve queen of pentacles i think that the queen here herself is very upset about this very hurt it's her great grandchild her direct heir who has the target of this awful thing they're very uh, focused on her and also Catherine who also is an earth sign the, the uh, Queen Elizabeth is an earth sign she's very upset Catherine is an earth sign and she's very upset she's very angry we've got the king of pentacles already in reverse and we've got the queen of pentacles now in reverse there are two very angry senior royals William and Catherine very angry and I think also her majesty is very angry we saw the emperor coming in in the previous reading. I speculated it might be something that Meghan Markle does, but it could be that the queen in some way intervenes and comes out and publicly denounces the series and does something about it. I don't know. But here we have a couple, a matching pair, the king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles in the reverse, extremely upset, extremely frustrated, extremely angry, uh, feeling helpless, but they're very focused on their own relationship, on their own mental health at the moment, on their own sanity. I can imagine that they just want to walk away from this whole thing. If it were me and if it were my child being targeted like this so viciously, I'd be tempted to say, well, screw it. I'm off. I'm going to throw in the towel and go off and, and live happily somewhere else, far, far away from the, the public. And uh, the end of the royal family and I have a sneaking suspicion that that was what was coming through in the previous reading the energy that's coming through from Prince Harry do maximum damage to their children to William and Catherine's children and maybe they will give up and just decide it's not worth it if the damage to our family is just not worth it and we're walking away a wild speculation on my part terror reading entertainment purposes only just my opinion What's happened in the past, in the recent past? Did they actually try to stop it? Uh, did they brace themselves? Did they warn George? What? Yeah, seven of wands. They absolutely brace themselves. This is the card of bracing yourself for attack. They have been preparing themselves mentally, at least for this moment. They've known it's coming. Uh, possibly they have armed themselves against it legally. Uh, it's not a, a literally a legal card, but they have taken steps to protect themselves. They've taken steps to protect George from the media, 
from reading about it, hearing about it. So they've they've put a little protective bubble around their family, around themselves, around him as best they can to protect themselves from what's coming. How these these sticks are are being uh, are attacking this poor cat, and that's them. They they do feel helpless. They have done their best to protect themselves against this uh, unwarranted attack. Uh, and uh, yeah, I can feel those those sticks hitting as I look at that card. Very, very painful, very unfair, uh, very difficult for them. The, the difficulty for them just goes on and on. There's no respite for them, no no happy moments. It's just, it's relentless at the moment, has been relentless since Meghan Markle entered the royal family or came on the scene in 2017 or whenever it was. Um, so what's going to happen next? Are they going to do something? Are they going to take legal steps? Are they going to put out a statement? Uh, what, what are they going to do? What's, what's coming up next? Seven of Cups. They're looking at their options with the Seven of Cups. It's a, it's a cup of uh, weighing, weighing possibilities. Uh, I can do this. I can do that. Maybe this. Maybe that. Uh, they're looking. They're exploring options to see what they can do, but they're not taking decisive action in this card. They are in this in this depiction of the Seven of Cups. It's quite unusual because it's a bit of a juggling act, a bit of a balancing act that's going on here. They've got to balance the needs of their family versus the uh, the, the needs of the royal family versus freedom of expression, creative freedom. Um, it, you know, it's it's a series that's being created in America. It's not a British series. So it's difficult for them to take steps against it, very direct steps. So they are being cautious. They are, but they're exploring their options, definitely. Uh, but nothing decisive yet. No decisive action yet. So how do they feel about it individually? How does William feel about it? How does he feel about the way his son is being portrayed in this series? Ten of Pentacles in reverse. It's uh, a, a direct hit to the royal family, to the succession, to the lineage, to everything it stands for, the dignity, the a tradition, the heritage. It's really a low blow. It's really trying to undermine that as far as he's concerned. And it's also obviously a big money grab. And we saw that in the previous reading on this um, series, in this animated series. They're in it for the money. And he knows that. And he's very angry about that. He's very angry about his family being used to make money in this very ugly, very vicious way. But it's also a very vicious attack on his family. The Ten of Pentacles is normally a happy family scenario, different generations, very secure, the castle, the dogs and the children and the grandparents and everybody happy and secure. It's undermining his security. It's undermining his stability. We've seen it with the King, King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. They, they really feel rocked to the, to the core by this. Um, they're very upset about this. They feel very uh, destabilized, which seemingly from my previous reading was the intention the intention was to destabilize them to hurt them in the place where it really could hurt them and that's through their children through particularly prince george how does catherine feel about it what is her current state of mind how does she feel nine of pentacles she is really toughing up here the nine of pentacles is normally a, a woman who is very confident, very secure, very powerful. She's very abundant. She's got everything she needs around her. She's very confident. She's standing on her own two feet. She doesn't need anyone to support her. This is really toughing her up dramatically. She is being empowered by this in a very strange way. And she may actually do something quite radical. Um, energy coming off this card, this Nine of Pentacles, that it may tip her into some uh, kind of activism that we haven't seen from her yet. We really, we got a glimpse of it. And it's interesting that this is coming to me now as I'm holding this card. We got a glimpse of it when, and I apologize, I cannot remember the name of that poor woman who was murdered, so raped and murdered so viciously, cruelly, by that police officer. And Catherine turned up unannounced at the memorial for her when there was a crowd 
gathered and they were told not to gather. It was during a lockdown. They were told, uh, please don't assemble, don't come and protest about women's rights and women's safety. Um, you're breaking COVID regulations. And Catherine showed up and she showed up in just a pair of jeans, very low key, very quiet, no song and dance. Uh, she was by herself. She brought a bunch of flowers that she picked from her own garden and she left it at the site where everyone was gathered. She came, she did that, she went, she made sure she was seen, but not in a way of uh, being very conspicuous, just in a way that made her presence noted and then off she went. It was a very powerful statement. It was the first very powerful statement that I think we've ever seen from her. And this card is telling me that this is going to provoke her into further very powerful statements uh, in protection of children, in protection of family, the things that she holds sacred. She's going to, you know, it, it's almost like you, you poked a hornet's nest there, Gary Janetti, Orlando Bloom, Harry. You poked a hornet's nest and uh, she's going to come out. She's going to come out really, I think, in a very courageous and very uh, public way at some point. Watch the space energy I'm getting off that and I'm happy to see that at least she's taking this and she's not being defeated by it she's being empowered by it so what are their hopes and fears from this situation the eight of wands the eight of wands I think they feel they're hopeful that social media is going to come come out against this the press is going to come out against this it's going to it's going to rile people it's going to stir people up and people are going to start really campaigning about how ugly this is and how awful it is that they themselves don't literally have to go out and do anything we've seen that they're not they braced they took whatever steps they could to protect Prince George to put a little bub protective bubble around him and around their family. They're weighing their options. They're considering what they can do. But they're hoping here, this is the press card. This is the media. This is uh, stories really coming out. Um, and they're hoping, I think, that public opinion is going to come out in support of them and in support of Prince George. And that ultimately, when he looks back at this moment, he's going to look back at it as a moment when possibly the worm turned and the media turned against this kind of very ugly uh, celebrity abuse of uh, helpless people. Um, so let's see what the final outcome is. I'm, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that we get a good outcome in this reading for Prince George, for William and Catherine, for the family. We get the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. And this is the card that came out as the underlying energy of the previous reading I did. The reading on Meghan Markle and Prince Harry and their silence, their failure to come out and actually defend Prince George and... Uh, object, make their, make their values known, their, their silence, they're condemned by their silence. And the Eight of Pentacles in reverse tells me the same story. It's telling me that this campaign against them, and it is a campaign against the Cambridges, is not going to work out. Eight of Pentacles in reverse, it's not going to work out. Uh, it's going to cost whoever was involved in this production. It's going to cost them money. It may cost them reputation. It may cost them future gigs. And it is really not going to go the way that they intended. And so possibly inaction, silence on the part of William and Catherine at the moment is the wisest course of action. Just to let it unfold. Let uh, public opinion have its say let the press have their say and hope that in due course it chips away at this and makes sure that this is not a successful production and that it's buried under uh, a suitably negative public opinion and in that way they protect their child. I hope that I'm reading these cards correctly and that this is a positive outcome for the Cambridges and on that note I'll see you on the next one.